Next question is from DKJZS666. What are your opinions on daily push-ups and pull-ups? Love it. Yeah, I, yeah. I absolutely love it. These are like trigger sessions. It is. Uh, you know, it's. I, I had a, a trainer that worked for me once who, you know, he, he really good, really good guy, hard worker, and he applied for a job with us after getting out of uh, prison, and he was jacked. I mean, he actually got a job right after he got out of prison. Now, I liked the guy a lot. I loved his energy, his attitude. Gave him a chance. It was a great decision. He ended up becoming a, a real solid, uh, you know, trainer. But I remember him looking really muscular. And so I had made the comment like, oh, you know, the, you guys lift a lot of weights in there, right? After he told me that he, he had been in there. And he goes, actually, they took the weights out. So I don't know if you guys know this, but in California, a lot of the prisons had eliminated weights. They took them out uh, because they said the inmates were getting too big and muscular. Um, so I said, well, you know, what do you do? What did you do? And he goes, I would do push-ups and dips off my bed and pull-ups off the bed. And I would do that as my workout. And I'm like, oh, you know. Would you do like one day of push-ups and then another day of just no? I do them all all the time. Yeah, I would do some in the morning. I do some in the afternoon. So, and and it didn't make any sense to me at the time because at the time my idea of working out was you go so hard that you need at least right. a few days you need to of factor recovery. in the rest. Yeah, like yeah. I'm like, how did you recover? How did that work? Mm. He goes, well, you don't beat the crap out of yourself. You just get some reps. And you well, that's it. the entire key to that whole thing is like, you got to find the right dose. So it's not like too much. You're not, you're not overdoing it uh, to where it's going to impede on your lifts, you know, the following day, if you have a workout scheduled, but yeah, I'm, I'm a real big fan of doing the daily push up, daily squat, you know, daily crunch uh, type thing to keep stimulating that, uh, that signal that, you know, Hey, right here, we need to keep building, developing, uh, you know, this muscle further. The key to that though, is, is understanding how to manipulate your intensity. City, totally. right? So if you're going to do push-ups and pull-ups every single day, you don't want to be trained, definitely don't want to be training it to failure. No. You definitely don't want to be doing a ton of volume. It's, you know, you get up there, you do one or two sets, you're done. You know what I'm saying? Or you break that up multiple times throughout the day. You get up there, you do, you know, five to 10 pull-ups one time, five to 10 pull-ups another time, get down, do your 10 to 20 push-ups, whatever, one or two times, break, come back later in the day, do it again, that type of stuff, fine. But if you do, you know, five to seven sets of, you know, pull-ups and you're going to failure, trying to do that every single day, you're going to find yourself trying to recover all the no, time. No, think about it as practice, right? So when I was a, when I was younger, I had a friend of mine who decided he was going to learn how to uh, skate to, to use a skateboard. And one of the hardest tricks on a skateboard is a kickflip. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think, you know, when you learn how to kickflip, that's like a huge deal, right? That's like one of the biggest... Like you, like a a big a move that you can finally do. Yeah. So what he did was, is he practiced kickflips every single day. Now when he got so tired that he could no longer do the technique, he stopped. He stopped. So he didn't train. He didn't practice kickflips to failure. He practiced them until he's like, oh, now I'm too tired to even do this the right way. So now I'm going to stop because I'm not helping myself. That's the way you should view daily exercise. You're not going out and doing push-ups to hammer your chest. You're practicing push-ups. You're not doing pull-ups to hammer your back. Right. You're practicing pull-ups. I saw actually a cool thing uh, that they have out now for kids to learn how to skateboard and do like ollies. They have this plastic piece that goes over your wheels. So it actually gives you uh, two, uh, basically it almost turns it into kind of a square situation, but you can kind of roll left to right just barely, but it gives you a more stable surface oh, when cool. you land. So pretty cool. I mean, it's just stuff like that in the Strider bike and things that we've evolved and, and, and have like, you know, that that's such a more effective way to dude, learn. Dude, how many, I mean, how many, times you guys get questions how do i get better at pull-ups that's what i tell people how many pull-ups can you do oh i can only do three okay uh do Keep one pull-up yeah you know uh like three times a day yeah. every day just do one don't do three just do one practice walk it. away come back hit it again later and watch what happens